guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is all about layering skincare products how to layer them what comes first what comes last what's that little bit in the middle this video is going to tackle all those points so the reason why i actually think it's very important to know when to use your products is some products will actually not work as well if you use them in the wrong order for example if i wash my face and i put moisturizer on and then serum after that the serum is not going to penetrate properly into my skin, if that makes sense, because the moisturiser is way too thick for a serum to be able to penetrate through. Some people might be using the right products, you got all the right serums, and then it's still not working, and you're asking yourself, like, what is going on? It's probably because you're using it in the wrong order. That could be a possibility. So the first thing I want to talk about is cleansing. Cleansing is the first step. This will always be your first step. If you've got acne prone skin, you can go for a double cleansing method. Basically involves an oil based cleanser and a gel based cleanser. But I'm going to show you guys a few example options. When it comes to an oil based cleanser, I love this oils of life cleanser. I've literally nearly finished the whole entire bowl, you guys. So... This is what's going to take off the makeup, the excess skincare products you have from last night, all of that. This is going to do a great job at that. So I basically rub this into my skin and rinse. And as you can see, immediately my face is extremely oily. It looks like a grease ball. And this is exactly what you need. You need to be looking like a glazed donut. If that's not the look that you are getting, you can apply some more um so yeah i just rub this into my skin i'm gonna go and rinse my face all right you guys so i've just come back from rinsing and drying my face i always reach for this cerave blemish control cleanser because it works for me because for me personally i'm not someone that struggles with acne i don't have acne prone skin but instead i do get blemishes allergies can give me like hyperpigmentation sometimes summer is not my best friend that's when all my allergies start showing up and it shows up on my skin and those like little rashes turn into pigmentation so that's why i tend to go for this blemish control gel based cleanser cerave have a range of cleansers for oily skin dry skin combination skin acne prone skin they really do target all areas so i recommend looking at their ranges comes out like that basically and you know this is some people's first step actually if they don't want to double cleanse and that's perfectly fine it really doesn't matter you just need to do what works for your skin so me personally i like to double cleanse because my sunscreens are thick and sometimes my makeup products as well are very full coverage so i need that extra step of double cleansing because just once doesn't work for me so yeah, I'm going to go now and rinse my face once again and come back to you guys. And we're going to go right into step two. This time I didn't dry my skin. I wanted to show you guys how I dry it. So basically, I just let it air dry. Sometimes I'll turn my fan on and dry it that way. And it's basically dry like i said to you guys my skin dries so quickly it's ridiculous i literally don't even know why so next up if we're going based on consistency the next step would be toner and let me show you guys why toner like i was saying before in the intro has got the same consistency or similar consistency to water so here with me i've got three different types of toners different toners are for different things if you are someone that is basically struggling with hyperpigmentation darkness all around you need to get yourself a glycolic acid toner this will solve your hyperpigmentation problems however if you're someone that struggles with texture bumpy skin you know white hairs black hairs and stuff like that you can get yourself this pore zero toner this is the one that i'm basically using right now and i'm absolutely loving it because i do struggle with white heads especially around my nose area i don't necessarily struggle with pigmentation anymore so i don't tend to use this one as much Except I do use it like under my arms and like on my knees and stuff. But when it comes to skin texture, I reach out for this one. So I'll go in with this next. Just put like a few drops, nothing crazy. Three to four drops, I would say. And rub it into my palms and pat it into my skin.
So next up in my routine, I will go for a serum. So serums are very important. They're basically kind of like the more concentrated products that will go onto your skin for your specific skincare concern. So basically what I mean is, for example, if you are someone that struggles with a dry skin, you could go for like a hyaluronic acid serum, which will basically add moisture to your skin. Whereas if you're someone that struggles with white hairs, black hairs, texture, like moi you would go for a niacinamide serum for that targets all those things if you're someone that struggles with acne prone skin you would go for this uh, bha serum so me personally when i do have like breakouts i will go for this serum it's the pore zero serum a part of the be the skin korean skincare line um that you guys might have seen me use before so this is very good for acne however i tend to use this one for skin texture for that's like my biggest concern so I tend to just apply it onto my skin um, just like a few drops and I forgot to mention that before I apply this serum onto my skin I tend to like wait 10 minutes or so for my toner to absorb into my skin properly because if you're just applying skincare products on top of skincare products within the space of like two minutes they're probably just gonna all mix together and it's not gonna penetrate into your skin in the layers that you want it to I'm gonna use this time to let this sit into my skin for like another 10 minutes so what I like to do is space out my products as I apply them so I don't just go straight into another product because that's not gonna let it absorb into my skin nicely so I'm just gonna wait a little bit whilst it does its thing and I'm gonna go into my next step so now this serum is dried onto my skin this is how my skin looks it gives me like a nice healthy glow that's how I know it's absorbed the next up is eye cream so i use this caffeine eye cream from the inky list this one right here however i did used to use this this botanics hydrating eye cream from botanics so there are different eye creams again just like serums just like toners there are different products available to you guys like if i'm comparing these two this one worked a lot better for me than this one did however this one is a lot more gentle than this one so it's really a matter of finding what works for your skin basically so i apply this under my eyes like so and then i just rub it into my skin just like being very gentle because your under eyes are a very gentle area you guys you can actually make your under eyes a lot worse by like being very harsh underneath there that is something that i have done before in the past so you just want to be very very gentle under your skin so this is gonna sit and absorb into my skin whilst I jump into my next step. The next step is, of course, moisturizer. I've got a range of different moisturizers here, which I use for different seasons, different times of the day, different um, skincare worries. Like, it's all a matter of what your skin needs in that present moment in time if that makes sense so like if my skin is feeling very very dry i am definitely not going to be using a gel based moisturizer i'm going to go for something a little bit more heavy basically like during the summer when my skin is producing buckets and buckets of oil i tend to go for a gel based cleanser like this neutrogeno hydro boost it's very lightweight but then again it is still hydrating when it's winter and my skin needs a little bit more moisture i would tend to go for this CeraVe hydrating cream it's got urea in it um so it's very very hydrating i absolutely have been loving this right now because my skin has been more drier than usual and i think it's because we're still kind of like in the winter period here in england and when i'm struggling with hyperpigmentation i would go for this korean skincare from be the skin sometimes i'll get like dark marks in one area and it would just kind of like spread i don't know what really caused is that so i tend to go for this this is like their dark spot cream i would use this day and night so i tend to just kind of like put it 
depending on what my skin needs if my skin feels a really really dry i'll sometimes go for two layers but today my skin actually doesn't feel too bad so i think this is enough Okay, so last step is of course sunscreen sunscreen is very important sunscreen again is very much an experimenting type of process because with some sunscreens like for darker skin tones it's really really a struggle if you know what i'm talking about when it comes to blending into your skin some of these sunscreens will have you looking crazy in the sun crazy so right now i've only experimented with two that have managed to blend into my skin nicely and give me a nice glow this is the hawaiian tropic sunscreen and then this is the la roche posay sunscreen so if i'm comparing the two i prefer this one this sunscreen is okay if you don't mind a little bit of fragrance in your skin but if you've got sensitive skin i would recommend this one because this one doesn't have fragrance in it this has a much higher uv factor this is spf 50 this is spf 30 yeah so this one has like a very watery consistency it just blends into my skin so nicely and that is one thing that i love about this sunscreen I would definitely recommend it for people with darker skin tones definitely because for me it's worked absolutely fantastic and it gives me such a nice glow which i like like it's not too oily if that makes sense and that is it for today's video that is how i layer my skincare products from start to finish so this is my own version if you guys you know have any questions let me know in the comment section but this is basically how i layer my skincare products so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you have enjoyed it thank you for sticking around to the end um i will catch you on my next video bye